Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button, it helps a lot. And also keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Sunday, November 7th. I wanted to take a look at desktop metal, ticker symbol DM, before we get into the trading week ahead. Now, I had done a, an analysis video on DM a few weeks ago, and at that time, we put in this long-term downtrend resistance level, and had broken through that, and was looking forward to settle and build a base. And it has done exactly that, and I'm hoping that this has sort of signified the beginnings of a trend reversal. We'll have to watch it very, very closely to see if it makes any sort of bad moves, <laughs> any moves that kind of make make us think that it has actually not done so. Um, but basically what it did is it broke this downtrend resistance and built itself a little base here about over the course of, say, September 17th through, so about six weeks or so. Uh, five and a half, six weeks, and then made this huge move out of this uh, up almost 24% on the 1st of November, reconfirmed support at the top of the range the following day, um, and then really hit exactly, you know, the other resistance levels that we had um, placed in, in the video a couple weeks back. So this 889 hit resistance, flipped it to support, and then tried to breach that 960 and couldn't. So we were only uh, 9 cents off. It got to 969. So we were 9 cents off the resistance level on there um, to exactly where it turned back around. And now it's flipped back around and is treating this 889 as resistance. So I'm interested to see if it um, has sort of more juice in it here or if it's going to kind of consolidate in this new range and then you know build another base and then make another big move i mean that is a big move to make in a day 24 percent and and then to basically hold that strength over the course of the the remaining week you know it could need to kind of take a little breath and put in a new range here much like it did here and and before it's going to make its next move now just keep in mind with these range breaks uh yes this one broke to the upside and that's great for the bulls these can also break to the downside and and in a similarly um strong fashion um and so just always keep that in mind when something is in a range like this you don't necessarily know which way it's going to go but we just kind of know when it breaks that range it can tend to be a very, very strong break in either direction. Um, so it's worth, at this point, I mean, any of these levels to the downside, the 793, um, this 674, those to me are still the strongest support and resistance levels. You know, there's probably a 732 zone. You know, hopefully it wouldn't need to come all the way back down if it does come down to that um, to that 674. Ay, come on, Weeble. Um, Looks like it's put in a new level there from the price action that it's added lately. So I would, you know, maybe see if it wants to catch support of that 732 if it needs it. Hopefully it won't drop down that much again, but like I was saying, you never know. Uh, and then to the upside here, you know, once it can get past this 960, or if it can get past this 960, the next strong level that I would look at here, which will probably be pretty strong, is right about 1075 here. So good run room between these ranges, to be honest. It's small dollar amounts, but the, the stock price is so low that um, it's a big percentage change. So that's always nice to see that you're not just looking for tiny, tiny incremental changes between these zones. And it's also sort of a, a byproduct of it having such a catastrophic year coming down so much over the course of the year. Um, it's going to leave it with a lot of zones that don't have a ton of resistance uh, between them because the drop was so fast and furious. But that's what I would look for to the upside and to the downside. If we want to take a quick look in on the indicators, the MACD stretching nicely on this uh, bullish crossover still, getting a little bit tighter in with the signal line, but we'll see if it throws a crossover there. It did a head fake here that you see. Um, and basically a, a head fake here as well. Um, and so it hasn't been tremendously um, reliable in terms of like when it looks like it's throwing a bearish crossover like here, that it actually does it. It's a lot of head fakes here, the bullish crossover head fake there. So just kind of watch it very closely if that's kind of what you're basing much of this off of. Uh, the RSI 
if and when it comes down to the 50 range, I would just keep an eye on does it hold the 50? Can it bounce off of it and head back up toward overbought again? Um, does it fall through and, and then sort of flip that to resistance? On the EMAs, we have some bullish crossovers happening, the 12 crossing over the 34 and the 12 crossing over the 50. So that's all bullish action. That should provide some additional support situated right now at uh, 801. And, um, you know, so that, that could help if it needs it on the downside. In terms of the Ichimoku cloud, it's just about in the cloud at the moment, uh, which the uh, wisdom would say don't trade in the cloud. Um, but it does have a sort of a moderate buy signal right here at the moment with this conversion line situated above the baseline. And um, we'll see if it sort of, you know, you look for this this cloud to be support as well. So and the thicker the cloud, the stronger the support. So look like looks like it's coming to pretty solid support here. It doesn't mean it can't work its way through it, of course, but that could provide additional support levels as well if and when we kind of get through those. But it'll be interesting to see what the... Uh, the week kicks off with as far as DM is concerned. It was a pretty interesting one last week, so so I wanted to come in and kind of do an update. But that's basically what I see. Broke the previous trend, did a nice job building a base, and then started to kind of reap the benefits of being able to, to hold a base finally. Um, and now maybe doing the same thing again. I don't know. But uh, if it does, to me, that, that definitely wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, pretty big moves up. Uh, recently. As you see, price change over the last month, plus 26.25%. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, and then still a bunch of return potential based on the analysts. And there's you know, only six analysts in here. So a bunch of room if it wants, uh, or if more analysts want to come in and cover it, obviously. On the short side of things, um, Ortex estimating 21.22% of the free flow uh, with short interest at the moment. So pretty high. Days to cover, also relatively high, over 4, 4.26. Cost to borrow is negligible. Utilization is situated just over 50. So um, kind of not the best breakouts. If you had short interest this high, you know, it would be nicer to see the cost to borrow to be at least in the 40 range, if not closer to triple digits, and that utilization would be higher as well. But um, this is what we have at the moment. So shorts are definitely going to be putting on um, some pressure. And the best way for DM to be able to combat that is to continue to string along some um, green days, but even if not that, at least some sideways days so that they're not getting a ton of bang for their buck and they might kind of decide to pack up and go home. But you never know exactly what's the psychological makeup of a short seller and <laughs> and exactly who they are, or, you know, what it is that their goals are um, with this longer term. But that's my two cents as I see it. Um, you know, I hope that you get your trading week off to a good start tomorrow, and I definitely wish you the best of luck if you're in DM or no matter what you're trading. I hope that it goes well this week. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video.